hello friends and uh, welcome back to this uh, spring boot tutorial and uh, today we will be looking into auto configuration in spring boot and uh, auto configuration is the heart of spring boot and uh, what actually is the magic behind it uh, that makes uh, everything works in spring spring boot so now we are not going to go into a lot of uh, details here but because uh, down the road we will be looking into this auto configuration and uh, uh, we will be looking in more details then but uh, i wanted to at least give uh, give you a cursory understanding as we get started with this course so um the enable auto configuration annotation is what allows for configuration classes to be dynamically scanned into the application context it is uh, based off uh, jars that are loaded uh, onto the class path usually via uh, maven uh, class path uh, usually via maven or gradle and uh, it's uh, not always the case though that uh, it's the jar on the class path and uh, again we'll go into more details of that and it's uh, driven off uh, spring.factories file that is in the meta in uh, inf directory of each jar that gets loaded into the application uh, itself via one of those dependency management systems and in addition you can control the order of annotations uh, through uh, auto configuration through a couple of annotations uh, that are auto configured before and auto configure after so in addition to auto configuration conditional loading is what helps spring boot to do what it does some conditional loading allows configurations to only be loaded when and if there are classes specifically on the class path such as conditional on class and uh, you can also drive configurations of the presence of a beam uh, being defined in an application context using the conditional on bean annotation so what it means is uh, if a bean is uh, present then only that uh, uh, configuration will be loaded so it will be depending on conditional bean and uh, furthermore you can drive configurations uh, based on specific properties being defined within the conditional on property annotations and once again you can also drive configuration based on the missing bean or class or property through the conditional on missing annotations and uh, I have been uh, giving you the bean example here and uh, so if there is uh, for pro uh, something called properties and properties are also a big part of the default configuration for Spring Boot and uh, many of the projects include pre-configured uh, default properties uh, for the uh, auto configuration classes themselves and there's an annotation to load those properties called uh, enable configuration properties and these specifically uh, they load uh, default property sets so for instance if you bring h2 onto the class path it will have enough configurations and configuration properties to load an embedded h2 database into your application and we'll show you that uh, as we go through the uh, throughout this uh, tutorials uh, and further chapters and uh, you will see uh, how this auto configuration with our properties are available and they are loaded by default uh, now the thing to note that uh, is that the properties is that they can always always be overridden through the way that you configure spring itself so there are more uh, conditional properties available uh, but I want to run through all of them in a high level. We have talked about the bean in class and the missing bean and the missing class based conditionals and again we also talked about property based conditional. What we haven't talked about are the application type based conditions. So you can define if it's a web application or not a web application through conditional annotations. You can also use resource based annotations which essentially are files uh, but not always but usually are resources uh, used 
when we are pointing to a file on the file system. And finally, there's an expression-based conditional that allows you to use the spring expression language to drive conditional expectations of your class and what gets loaded during auto configuration. So at the end, here is a example and uh, indeed Spring Boot uh, annotations you will see on line uh, 51 has the enable auto configuration annotation as well as some component scan filters and all of that is what drives Spring Boot. So based on this file, uh, actually running and doing is all done through this and uh, all every all the magic happens uh, using all these uh, auto configuration annotations so this was about uh, auto configuration in spring boot and uh, we will go into more details and see how it works so this was about spring boot auto configuration and uh, i hope uh, you will get a brief idea about spring boot we will go into more details in further chapters and see how they work and we will use a lot of them in our uh, application uh, which we will uh, develop during this course. Thank you so much for watching.